Hi there. This is the all new Jekyll. And this is the all new Jekyll's one of a kind suspension system. It's a different kind of beast. It looks different. It acts different. And man, does it go like hell. Today, we're going to break it down and focus on the five elements that all work together in a kind of beautiful kumbaya harmony to deliver Jekyll's unbeatable suspension performance. There's the gravity cavity, the high pivot, the guidler, the four bar linkage, and then the special sauce that ties it all together, our proportional response size specific design. So let's talk gravity cavity. You got it. This bike has a bit of a sweet tooth for the gnar and it keeps all that sugar right here. The gravity cavity lets us put the shock inside the down tube for the lowest possible center of gravity. A lower center of gravity is good because it means the bike handles better. It's easier to throw it side to side, it's more planted when you're driving through turns, and it's much more stable at speed. Next up, the high pivot. On the Jekyll, the swing arm pivots up here, high on the seat tube. With the pivot up high like this, the wheel moves backwards and up when it encounters a bump, letting your momentum carry smoothly on instead of hanging up as your wheel tries to go up and over the obstacle. It just makes it easier to go faster. But high pivots also come with a nasty side effect, pedal kickback. When the rear wheel follows that lovely rearward arc, it causes the chain to pull the crank backwards like this. Ouch! That is pedal kickback. Not fun and not fast. So we added the guidler. That's part chain guide, part idler pulley. And putting this little contraption right here eliminates chain growth. And that kills all that pesky pedal kickback and keeps the suspension movement and your pedal stroke as smooth as a 70s slow jam. So with this high pivot and guidler setup, we get a great rearward wheel path, amazing bump absorption, and unreal smoothness. But that is not nearly enough. Which brings us to the four bar linkage. The four bar or horse link system gives our engineers the ability to control two important variables called rise and squat. Squat is the tendency of the rear suspension to compress under acceleration. Like when you mash the gas in that sweet rental Mustang, the tail drops, front comes up, that's squat. Then when you nail the brakes and the front compresses, the rear rises up, well, that's rise. The four bar system lets us design in forces that counteract these effects, which are called, obviously enough, anti-rise and anti-squat. This means when you're pedaling, the suspension doesn't squat too much, and when you're braking, it doesn't rise too much. It stays right in that sweet spot, giving you maximum traction, maximum bump absorption for maximum speed. So we could have pretty much stopped right there and had a kick-ass suspension design, but we didn't. We went a giant step further and customized it just for you. Well, I mean, not for you specifically, but for somebody who shares your approximate center of gravity. You see, how any suspension system behaves is heavily affected by the rider's center of gravity. It influences how the suspension responds to everything. Bumps, braking, acceleration, you name it. Taller riders obviously have a different center of gravity than shorter riders. Yet the other guys design around one center of gravity, then use that exact same suspension layout for every size bike they make. So that in a given situation, at least 75% of the riders will be experiencing suboptimal suspension performance. And I mean, come on, that's not right. With our proportional response size specific design, we tailor every aspect of the bike around that size rider's average center of gravity. Everything. Geometry, chainstay length, rider position, and most importantly, the suspension kinematic. Each size gets its own customized suspension layout. Different pivot locations, leverage ratios, the works. The suspension is literally tailored for that size. So when you hop on a Jekyll and it feels like it was hand built just for you, it was. So that was the all new Jekyll and its sweet new suspension system. Thanks for hanging out with us. Now it's time to ride. See you at the bottom.